Jeremy Corbyn is slowly getting off the Brexit fence, gingerly putting a foot down on the side of a final say referendum on our membership of the European Union. He's told the Shadow Cabinet that Labour should demand that any deal is put to a public vote. Now, of course, the Labour leader's spin doctors say that the policy hasn't changed. And it's true that the compromise that was agreed at the party conference last year said that a public vote must be an option. But now, Jeremy Corbyn is saying that any deal must be put to a public vote. And that means another referendum. Because at the Shadow Cabinet, he discussed what the ballot paper for a referendum should look like. He said it would need to contain real choices for both Leave and Remain voters. Now that means Remain has to be on the ballot paper, which he's been reluctant to accept until now. The opponents of a referendum in the Labour Party certainly think that their battle against a referendum is lost. Ian Lavery, the party chair, posted an angry tweet this week and then deleted it. He said about reports that Labour was about to back a second referendum, I fear it's correct. And 26 Labour MPs wrote to Jeremy Corbyn to say that they couldn't back another referendum because the party promised to respect the outcome of the 2016 vote. But the Shadow Cabinet is shifting. Emily Thornbury, the Shadow Foreign Secretary, and Keir Starmer, the Shadow Brexit Secretary, have been pushing for a second referendum for some time. But now, Corbyn loyalists such as John McDonnell, the Shadow Chancellor, and Richard Bergen, the Shadow Justice Secretary, also seem to be backing the idea. Jeremy Corbyn is going to meet trade union leaders next week and is expected to make a big speech on Europe after another meeting of the Shadow Cabinet. So I don't think there's any going back now. By the time Boris Johnson becomes Prime Minister, which I think is almost certain, Labour is equally certain to be backing a second referendum on Brexit. Mm -hmm.